How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking once again about the key croc and how to get the key croc online or at least to your local Wi-Fi network because the key croc as we do know is a full Linux uh, device right full full working computer it does have a Wi-Fi chip built into it and this is great for extracting data um, looking at loot and uh, just doing all kinds of testing and even coding on it remotely or from a shell which is really really nice okay so um, we're gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about how to set it up to do this process um, we need to follow these directions here on the official site which I will give you guys a link to this exact uh, post here getting started and getting the key crock online and kinda just look through this it's very helpful just to read this information about how to set it up but really what you need to do I've got my key crock plugged into my computer and um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in arming mode like you've seen in previous videos by pushing the little button on the back of the key crock and waiting like one or two seconds and then releasing it. This should put the key crock into arming mode, which should make it show up here in my computer. And there it is. So we're going to go into the key crock now. And we're looking for the config text file right here. This is what we need to edit to be able to get our key crock online. Okay, so here we are in the key crock config file. And it really is not too hard to do this. Um, I just think this makes it a lot clearer when I can just explain it to you and how this works, okay? So it does give you I, things right here about enabling, you know, and all the different things that you can do and some kind of pointers on how to do it, right? So it's not really that hard. Also, you can set your vid PID um, if you wanna do that. And, and, and just good information. So something to note in this config file is anything that's got the hashtag on it right here, this is all things that don't get looked at. It means it's been commented out of the code. So the only thing in this whole file that's actually being looked at when they look at the config are these four lines, okay? And you may not have those, you can write them um, down if you'd like. It's pretty basic, right? Ducky language, Wi-Fi SSID, Wi-Fi password and SSH enable. Okay, you don't need to do SSH enable if you don't want to set that up. Um, I recommend it because we're going to show you how to use it in this video. Um, so for all you got to do is get your Wi-Fi, right? SSID, type it in. Right, if that's what it is, and then put in your password. Right. And then you come up here and you hit save and you close it out. Okay. Once you've done that, you now have um, your Wi Fi set up. And this device, when you reboot it, will now connect to Wi Fi instantly, automatically, every time you plug it into a computer. All right. And that's how you do it. Really, really easy, right? You can go back in, it's right there. And then your SSH is enabled, so we should be able to do that. And your, your language is US for a US keyboard is really what you're doing with the language is you're setting your keyboard, okay? All right, so that's done. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk a little bit about payloads and that's because to do the SSH, you kinda need to know about it. Okay, two more things that I want you guys to get into your um, payloads folder uh, before we um, get this thing out of arming mode. So if you're going in here and we're gonna go to this, I'll give you a link to it, don't worry, it'll be in the video description. This is my um, payload list um, and where I'm hosting them here on GitHub. So if you go into library and you go into um, tools, the one that I think is very helpful is this one right here. So um, if you click on that guy, then you can just copy this whole thing, right? Copy, and then you can create a file in your folder structure in your payloads, right? Say new um, text, you can leave it blank, and then you can paste it right in, okay? And that will go ahead and put this um, tool onto your uh, device in payloads, right? So I'm not going to save it. I've already got this um, this one in there. The other one that I want you guys to make sure that you guys have is under um, library, and then it's under I think it's um, fun. No, not that one. Maybe SSH. Nope, not that one. Actually, it might it might actually be in the same one. Oh, it is. Okay, so we have Croc Info. The other one I want you to do is um, Croc SSH, right? Same thing. Copy it, paste it, 
okay? Very, very easy to do, right? Um, and as long as you got both of those on your device, which I have Croc Info, well, I have a couple of them because I've been doing some development, and then you have um, Croc SSH right there in your payloads folder, then you should be good to go and you should be able to follow along with what I'm going to do here once we reboot this device. So to safely eject this thing, you're obviously going to want to go back here, right click on it and say eject. And now I can unplug it and plug it back in and it should boot up into, you know, normal keylogger mode. We can close this guy out. And you know what, we're going to open up this file right here. Okay, so now, now that we're in here, um, as long as I did everything correctly, this thing should go ahead and boot up, connect to the Wi-Fi, uh, my local Wi-Fi here, and we should be up and running on Wi-Fi. And we can check that with one of our commands we just put in there, right? So with the keyboard that's plugged into the key croc, you're going to type in croc info. And hopefully, okay, so I can tell you something right now just by looking at this. Um, this is not giving us our IP, so we're not currently connected to Wi-Fi. So I might have an issue. So let me fix that, and we'll try it one more time. Probably need to change something in my uh, config text file. Okay, sounds good. It's uh, much better if you have um, the right SSID set up in your config file, but let's give this a go. So we're going to type in croc info, and this is going to print out a whole bunch of great information for you. Okay, so first of all, it gives you your, your firmware, then it gives you your IP address, whatever your current IP address that the device is connected to, it gives you that. It gives you your root uh, user. Um, some information about your password. This is just prints the default password, which is hack5 croc. Um, and then it gives you your SSH command to SSH into the device, right? Pretty sweet, right? Okay, so let's copy this guy. And we're going to do that. So we're going to open up um, a terminal um, or command window or even shell. We're going to do CMD though. So CMD and now we've got this guy opened up you can also do it in powershell whatever so we're going to go ahead and hit paste and this should connect to our key croc okay now you can also use this exact same command from another computer on the network to connect to the key croc as well remotely so it's got a lot of tricks i'm doing it on the same computer just for like development reasons it's kind of nice to have it on the same computer and i'll show you why as we get in here so we're going to go ahead and hit um enter and it asks for authentication, so we're going to say yes. All right, and then it asks for a password. Well, we know our password. Um, it's over here on this file. It's um, hack5croc, so we're going to put that in, hack5croc. Now, you could always change this if you wanted to, but this is a default password for the Linux operating system that's running on the key croc. And now we have a shell, right? So we can do ls minus al and we can see what's going on here. Um, we've got root, but mainly we work in UDisk. So we're gonna CD to UDisk, and we're gonna do an LSAL, and there you go. That's basically your directory when you put the device in arming mode is all right here, okay? So um, now that we've got this done, and we're, it's all fancy fancy, and we have an SSH client running, um, we also put in croc SSH. So let me show you how that works. Now that you've connected the first time, it's automated. So check this out. So we're going to exit this. Now we're going to type in croc SSH on the keyboard that's plugged into the key croc into your computer. You can see now it's going to go ahead and enter the IP, enter the password, and log you right into the key croc, and you have your shell working. So it's pretty cool. There's so much you can do with. Um, different keystroke commands. One of the other ones that I've added, and you'll see these online um, in GitHub, is if you type in pays um, on the keyboard that's connected to your key crack, it goes to all your payloads. If you type in loots, it also CDs to the right directory, and now you have all of your loot. So this is quite helpful for just navigating and doing development because you're going to be going between these files back and forth quite a bit as you're debugging scripts and writing batch files. Okay. So there you go. That is the process. There's so many more fun things you can do on here. 
um, in, in the payloads folder. You can see I've got all kinds of cool stuff. We're going to go over a bunch of it um, in future videos and different ones. If you have one of these that you find it really interesting and you'd like me to talk more about, please comment down below this video and we'll probably go over that exact payload and we'll show you some working examples of maybe some ways you can leverage it. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it and getting your key croc online on the internet um, or on Wi-Fi, I should say, and getting your SSH client up and running along with an auto sign-in command. So pretty sweet. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.